So you you call this Amanita muscaria, right? Yeah. So yeah. is there a type specimen for Amanita muscaria from like Sweden or wherever it was described originally? I mean, no, because it's described in 1753. The Linnaeus yeah. species. You can neotypify stuff. So you know, but but based on you know, you go, go there, to that you get, area. You get you get collections from that area. That's your baseline for that species. But you know, to actually you know, you would have to neotypify it by actually publishing it, saying. And I don't know if it's been done or not. I don't. Oh. I don't keep up on Amanita taxonomy. Yeah. Okay. But the one here in North America, we could One's, call it. There's there's multiple species here, and Eurasian muscari is in the Northwest, and it's fairly common in the Northwest, oh, okay. um, especially in urban areas. Um, so yeah, it's not, we don't just have one thing here, we gotcha. have multiple species here. Like the variety is of Flavio Yeah, so that's, Bovada that's Flavio Bovada, you know, the subspecies Flavio Bovada is a legit North American species, but then Muscaria variety Muscaria, the Eurasian species is in the Northwest and fairly common in the Northwest, especially coastal spruce. I okay, know. wild then, well, not just, yeah. okay. Uh, but, but most of the urban area stuff appears to be Muscaria Muscaria as well. And they can associate with aspen, is that right? They're with everything. Everything, huh? Yeah, and that's, that's Promiscuous, one of the why it's, it's so common and widespread. Yeah, um, just okay. The ability for, I mean, muscaria is with most of the ECM trees. Have you ever eaten one of these? Uh, yes. Um, Aurora fed it to me, detoxified. And uh, okay. It was eating as a novelty. Oh, uh, okay. You know, I've, I don't need to do it again. I have, I have absolutely no interest in... in psychoactive or mind-altering fungi. I've never done psilocybe. I have no interest, in, definitely have no interest in eating muscaria. I have had detoxified muscaria as a, you know, it's like, here, try that. So this one's a yellow variety, Amanita muscaria. And most, uh, like, form. would your mushroom books describe this as toxic? Um, I think the, the latest one I was like, it, I said something along, it, it's a complex. And I said that, yes, it's toxic if you eat it right up, straight up, but it can be detoxified. Okay. Um, but yeah, I, I, I steer people towards a Aurora Rubo paper on detoxification of muscaria. Because if you want to try it, that's, you know, that's the way to try it. I mean, it's, it's as far as mushroom identification goes, it's as easy as a mushroom to identify as there is. Yeah. You know, a bright red mushroom with white whites. It's simple. Yeah. Um, and there's a lot of foods that you have to detoxify to eat safely. And, you know, a lot of foods we commonly eat. So, I mean, that, that's not a big deal. It's just for me who won't even eat a chanterelle <laughs> or, you know, I'm picking all these bullies now. I may have one meal, maybe, um, right. with them and the rest I'll give away. It's just like it's not worth the effort for me. But, right. and for something that's, you know, so-so taste. Gotcha. I mean, it, it, you know, it's, it's, it's okay. Bland. Yeah. Yeah. There's no flavor really to it besides, you know, it's, and so I really feel like it's a novelty of I'm eating muscaria safely. Totally. Which you can easily eat it safely. And probably, I mean, it's safer to eat detoxified muscaria than it is to eat a lot of better mushrooms people are eating um, because of the ease of identification for it. Good point. So if you detoxify it, then yeah, it's a safe mushroom to eat. But if you don't, then... It could be some issues. It's a great point. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, so, I mean, it, it, technically it's not, it's not straight up a deadly poisonous mushroom, but it can kill you. If you pick that mushroom up right now and you eat it, you will get sick from it. I mean, so you can make the argument of like, for, for, if my altering substances are, are toxins or not, but, mm. um, but along with that, you know, you're going to ex probably experience vomiting, diarrhea, and, and in, in rare cases, potentially death from that mushroom. Mm -hmm. um, that has happened. But then it's a really easy mushroom to detoxify. Um, and then there's the people who want to, to use it recreationally, but um, it comes with its risk. Yeah. I mean, as does drinking alcohol. So Absolutely. You know, it's, it's your choice. A lot of people make bad choices. And I think the verdict of the ages is that it's a, a toxic mushroom should be avoided. Unless, like you said, for a novelty and you want to be like, but you can eat it. And if you like to argue, that's a great one to talk about. So. Yeah, I mean, so personally, I, I mean, I, I don't eat it, but it's it, it has the potential to be detoxified, and that's that's up to you.